Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with Olden Polonese. So I have to ask you about this. I heard that you once saved Kobe Bryant's life. <laughs> Is this true? I don't know if I saved his life, but I saved him from harm. Okay, explain. And that was between he and Shaquille O'Neal. All right. Uh, the famous fight between he and, Sha and, and, and Shaquille. I was the guy that Stop the punch, basically. That really? would have pretty much annihilated Kobe if it had landed. Oh. Yeah, so we were summertime playing basketball at a workout. And I still remember um, Laker personnel over in the corner. Everybody, you know, we just playing up and down watching us play. And they get into an argument. And next thing I know, I'm thinking it's kind of like just joking around, you sure. know, banter between players. And it's all it's getting real serious, and now nah, this is my team, man. This is my team. All the you know, foul language being thrown out there, and then they square up, and I'm like, "Come on, guys, break it up, break it up." As I'm doing that, Kobe, I can't remember what he said or what he did, but Shaquille reeled back and threw it, and I grabbed him, and part of the punch hit me right here, and then the rest followed through on Kobe, and then all of a sudden I'm holding. I'm like. You're holding Shaq. I'm holding Shaq. That's and a job. I'm fighting for life right now because I'm like, I can't hold this big dude. That's when he was. <laughs> so How I'm tall like, are you? I'm seven feet. Okay, so he had some. On and he still. had some weight on me. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm looking around. Somebody help because while I'm holding him, Kobe's like, you know, wanting to throw a couple of jabs and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'm either going to let this guy go. Because I can't have you hitting him. And yeah, then somebody no. came and grabbed Kobe, and I'm still holding on Shaq. He's like, let me go. Oh, let me go. Nah, man, relax, relax. And so, but yeah. What made you think that you should be the guy who gets in between I was them? the closest. Wow. Like, physically, you're like, wow. I was physically the closest. But no, I mean, I know both. I've known Kobe since he was like seven years old, and I've known Shaq. Shaq and I are friends. And so it was like one of those situations, like, come on, guys, y'all don't need to be doing this. But... When it happened, it was like, this is really crazy. Because I'm like, I don't mind words. You know, words are fine. Yeah. But when they, when they got physical, I really got scared. Really? Why? Because you know? this big dude, he would have hurt Kobe. He really would have if I had let him go. Did it seem like that was the first time something like that happened? It didn't seem like it was the first time. It was just the first one I had seen. Huh. But I don't think they had ever gotten that physical. But I'm sure they had words before, but that was just, it was mind-blowing to me because when it happened, literally, no one made a move. It's like they wanted to see it. Or they had seen it before and they were used to yeah, it. Yeah, and so I was like, <laughs> but that punch, ooh, I still feel it every now and then. What did Kobe <laughs> and Shaq say to you after this? Nothing. Kobe didn't say nothing. We broke them up, split, the game's over, no more playing. Um... Years later, I mean, we've had conversations about other stuff, but never about that. What do you think Kobe would say if we asked him about it now? I remember he did an interview last year when they rekindled their friendship and mm -hmm. all that. And he said, you know, I, I saved him and all that. Because he wondered what would have happened if I hadn't stepped in. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of wondered that myself, but I'm glad I did. Yeah. Because we may not have had Kobe Bryant ask Kobe Bryant. Wow. Because so, that punch was meant for damage. There's a lot of Lakers fans who should thank you then. Oh, they should. Because Shaquille was mad. He was really upset. And, uh, you know, I, just because we're talking about fights here, Bill Lambier, obviously, there was a little something that you were responsible for him wearing a face mask. Yeah, um, the face mask The face mask that Lambier wore the rest of his career, uh, it was courtesy of yours truly. <laughs> okay. We were in uh, Michigan State and playing an exhibition game. And I had just scored a basket. And he grabbed the ball to take it out of bounds, and he hit me. And so I threw my shoulder at him, right? It was like in my running motion, but I said, pow, and blood spewed everywhere. And they threw me out the game. Yeah. And then come, you know, a couple of days later, they said, you know, they weren't going to find me because I never threw a punch because uh -huh. the referees thought I threw a punch. And so I just explained to them, hey, it was in my running motion. We just made contact, uh -huh. but I meant to do it. Okay. And so, but the funny thing about all that is this: 
couple of weeks later, I'm getting letters and cards and flowers from all around the country. Wow. Thank you so much. Seriously? <laughs> I swear on everything. They were thankful for you doing they that? Were, people Why? People were sending me tons of letters and cards saying, huh. thank you for getting him. We can't stand him, this and that. And even when I became his teammate, I, I was like, Ugh. Oh, you still didn't like him? I just, he rubs me the wrong way. Why? He rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Why? I respected his game. You know, and I love, you know, his work ethic, but he there's something about him that just get all up under your skin. <laughs> I just I can't put my finger on it, but there's something about Lambeer. Did Isaiah Thomas thank you? <laughs> no. They got into it. Oh yeah? That's oh my goodness. Tell me. So we have practice. i man. I gotta write my book. So anyway. You're just writing. We, had, uh, <laughs> we have practice, right? They get into a fight, Isaiah and Lambert. Okay. And Isaiah punches him. Again, I seem to be right in the middle. Just straight the up mix. punches him. Straight up throws a punch, breaks his hand on Lambert's head. What? Yes, breaks his hand on Bill Lambert's head. So I grab him. Come on, man. I break that up. We get going. And we are, he goes to the doctor. They put a cast on his hand. We're on the plane, literally couple of hours after that, right, because we have a game. I'm sitting in my seat, as always. Isaiah Thomas right here. Bill Lambert right there. Joe Dumas right there. Okay. We're playing cards. Okay. Okay. Like, like nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> what? With a cast in his hand, like nothing happened. <laughs> a couple hours later. That's it. Like nothing happened. That's bizarre. <laughs> that's how we were. That was the thing. We get into a fight. We Okay, that's it. Game over. We shake hands. It's over with. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game on FS1, to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.